Shahada, thank you very much for speaking with us. So uh, give us a sense, how are, uh, how, how are the broader uh, financing challenges and opportunities when it comes to countries like India, from uh, your point of view as, as a Japan International Bank? Well, uh, uh, challenge, yeah, uh, 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 I'm from the JBIC, that Japan Bank for International mm. Cooperation, and we have uh, many experience in the field of the infrastructure, and also that uh, we have more than 100 of the limited recourse finance experience uh, all over the world. Mm. Well, uh, and uh, uh, more than 30 years of experience, that the uh, most important thing is that the, uh, the one principle is that the infrastructure is for the uh, people mm -hmm. who live in that area. Mm. So bene main beneficiary mm. is the uh, area people, not the uh, investor, not the contractor. Now, on the other hand, uh, uh, in the sense that the area people and the host government uh, have to involve in the project and have to share the some uh, obligation and uh, also that they uh, have to share some benefit. That is the most uh, principal important point. And is that the reason why some projects don't work, particularly PPP projects? Or? Well, uh, so so that. Uh, uh, the process uh, is a little bit, what I say, uh, the p process is wrong. Mm. That uh, uh, also that uh, uh, we have to uh, construct the project which is necessary for mm. the people. But on the other hand, that the host, host countries have to consider the project which will be uh, uh, attractive to the investor or foreign financer. Mm -hmm. But, so yeah. but but nowadays the process is like that that the first that the host country government decides uh, specification and uh, which uh, infrastructure they need and they decide right. and after then that they ask a bid so there is no uh, requirement from the investor or uh, the financer right. when so they plan. Right. So uh, the Japan Bank for International Cooperation is working with the Delhi uh, uh, Metro Corridor, oh. the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor. Uh, what is the kind of progress that you've made there, f as you see it, and uh, what what uh, what is the unfinished yeah. agenda? Yeah. So so nowadays that to change the process that we have uh, one uh, uh, organization with the Indonesian gov uh, Indian government mm. uh, to solve the uh, uh, issues at the very initial stage that the one uh, developing uh, uh, institution, uh, one institution for development that uh, with the Indian government and JBIC, that to uh, make a detailed dialogue between the in Indian government and uh, JBIC before Indian government decide anything. Mm. So that we work, and uh, under, the, under that uh, uh, formation, we are now discussing the several uh, PPP project mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, Delhi Mumbai corridor, such as water and uh, transportation, etc. Right. Well, how do you? Uh, what's your uh, outlook on PPP projects as a whole? I mean, you know, there's a lot of skepticism about PPP projects mm. uh, in some countries, including India. Mm. Uh, what's your own experience? Do you think that they will uh, go ahead with the same? Uh, enthusiasm with which they were set up and so that uh, 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 okay, so there is a very very many issues but uh, now now that uh, uh, JBIC tried uh, uh, three new uh, policies one is that uh, uh, as I said that uh, we will uh, make more detailed dialogue mm. at the very beginning stage with, with all the con all the partners or all the players yeah uh, mainly that uh, we have a platform with the host country government and JVIC. And uh, we ask the, uh, sometimes we ask the private sector to join such a platform mm -hmm. to discuss uh, the certain project. That is one trial. Okay. That not only in India, but uh, we Every would yeah. like to have many, in many countries now. Mm -hmm. And also let this decide that government to, uh, let government to decide the priority of the mm -hmm. project. Or mm -hmm the total package of the development plan. Okay. And the second point is that uh, uh, part, uh, local participation is necessary and also there is a lack of funding. So
so the uh, even in the funding uh, or even in the fi uh, finance sector that the local participation is necessary so we co-work with the e e local banks and also that we are now considering the uh, to use the capital market in local for example uh, we issued it, uh, bonds in uh, we are now planning to issue the uh, local currency bonds mm -hmm. in some countries and uh, to uh, to finance to the uh, project. Mm -hmm. The third point is that uh, uh, we only focus in uh, uh, greenfield project, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, after the 50 years experience in Japan, that uh, rehabilitation or renovation of the old uh, infrastructure is also will important. be also the important and one of the issue in future. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are now uh, investigating how to renovate or how to uh, uh, how to maintain uh, the, right. the old one. So uh, also that uh, we are uh, uh, we uh, can uh, uh, we are now uh, considering how to finance for the brownfield project. That three point right. is a new challenge for David. Right, <laughs> uh, Takisa-san, thank you very much for speaking yeah. with us. Thank <music> you.